I'm Phoebe Petrovic. I'm a reporter for ProPublica and Wisconsin Watch, and I am here in beautiful, dreary Monroeville, Pennsylvania for the Courage Tour. Um, it is sort of a mashup of a Christian tent revival and MAGA rally. I decree the church will speak the truth. I decree it will be a fair election. I'm here because I'm investigating how pro-Trump allies are recruiting people who had doubted the 2020 election results to become poll workers this time around in the 2024 election. They're focusing on battleground states like Pennsylvania. The Courage Tour has also come to Arizona, to Michigan, to Wisconsin. And this one was really unique because Senator J.D. Vance, who is running for vice president on the ticket with Trump, was there at a town hall today and spoke a little bit. And I am hoping to chat to some folks. So can you first tell me your name? It's Greg Pontinen. And so you signed up to be a poll worker? I just did. I just, I, I, they approached me and they said, would you like to sign up for paper balloting? And I oh, go, well, okay. that sounds interesting. I think we probably need that. And I go, yeah. So did you did you yourself have concerns about the 2020 election? I, I do have some concerns about uh -huh. the 2020 elections. And, you know, uh, social media has been hacked into. Banks have been hacked into. Misinformation comes from Russia. It comes from China. It comes from, you know, various countries. It's very easy to do that. Um, I could see that happening in our election. Can you just tell me your name, sir? Sure. It's Bob Mateo. And how did you get here? I drove here. How long was the drive? Uh, it took me about 12 hours, about 10 hours, you know, nonstop. Oh my God. Yeah. For me in New Hampshire, or I should say my town in New Hampshire, uh -huh. we're looking for Republican volunteers, uh, people that are um, willing to go and, and, and kind of, well, they're looking, we're looking for them to count ballots, yeah. uh, be ballot counters, but also um, be stationed at the polls as well. Like, what's your view on the 2020 election? Um, I'm disappointed in the results. Okay. Um, there are red flags. I don't like, um, you know, there are, there are I, I believe there are red flags. Okay. So it's been a couple of weeks since my investigation at the Courage Tour rally, and I want to share some of my takeaways. So the Republican and Democratic parties have historically recruited poll workers, and almost every state in the country has a legal requirement that says that there must be some amount of partisan balance at the polling places on Election Day. What's different that we're seeing here are groups that are outside of the parties making a really concerted effort to recruit poll workers themselves. So the Line of Judah is one of those groups. We saw them at the Courage Tour, and they say that they want to be the Christian version of the NRA. And they're traveling to swing states with the Courage Tour with Lance Wellnow to recruit conservative Christian poll workers. Many of the groups that we looked at had connections to Donald Trump and his allies. So take the line of Judah, for example. We found a business filing filed with the Tennessee Secretary of State that said that an attorney working with them was Miles Terry, whose business or law firm partner actually represented Trump during his first impeachment. To read the full investigation, head to the link in our bio.